guys, it's Hannah, and today I'm coming to you with my monthly Owl Crate unboxing. I'm an Owl Crate rep, so that means that the lovely people over at Owl Crate send me one of their boxes over every single month to review on my channel, and this is their July box, and I'm so, so excited to get into this one. But since I'm a rep, I also have a coupon code that you guys can use to get 15% off of your very first Owl Crate box. If you enter the code CLOCKWORK at checkout, then you can get 15% off your very first wonderful box. I gain nothing from the code, it is something that is totally just for you guys if you're interested in trying out Owl Crate for yourself, but I am so, so excited for the July theme because because the theme is Wanderlust, and I think I know what book is in here. And if I'm right, I will probably scream because I already have read the book and it's really, really good, and I really wanna own a physical copy because I don't own one. <laughs> so hopefully I am correct about the book. We shall see, so let's just get into the box. So on the top right here, we have the card that is in everyone's box, and this one's like a postcard, and it's really, really cool, with this girl taking a selfie wearing a Gryffindor shirt. I like her, rep in my house. And the back of it is also like a postcard. It has like a stamp and everything, but I'm not gonna read it because I don't want to be spoiled. Okay, right off the top, the very first thing I am seeing is absolutely adorable, and it is this keychain of a Funko Pop Newt Scamander from Fantastic Beasts. I actually already have this, like it's literally on my keychain. I had to go and grab my keys to show you guys, but like you can see it, I have him, and now I have two of him. So I'm probably gonna give this as a gift to somebody else because it's adorable and clearly I love it. But I love whenever Owlcrate includes Funko in their boxes because I love Funko Pops and they're just so much fun to collect. The next thing that I see in here is all folded up, so let's open it and see what it is. This looks like Elvish. What is this? Oh my god, it is. It's a little backpack thing that has a quote from Lord of the Rings on it. The ring around it, I think, is written in Elvish, but the quote says, Home is behind the world ahead, and there are many paths to tread, through shadows to the edge of night until the stars are all alight. And that's just so pretty. I love it. If you know me, you know I love the Lord of the Rings movies, and I've read, like, The Hobbit and The Fellowship of the Ring, but I'm not too big of a fan of the books, actually. I prefer the movies, which is, I know, blasphemous. But I still love Lord of the Rings, so I'm super happy to have this. And I can actually use it as a little backpack, which is so, so cool. I love it. Okay, the next thing that's in here is in this little red pouch, so let's open it and see what's inside. It says Ostrovars. It's a darker shade of magic thing. I'm so excited. It's a mirror. Okay, that's so, so cute. This is perfect to just, like, put in your purse or something. So it's just this little mirror that says Ostrovars, and it has a rose and this pretty design, and then the back is just a mirror, and you can see my camera. I also like that it comes in the little red pouch because then it won't get dirty or anything if you put it in your bag or something, so that's perfect. The next thing in here is this owl bag tag. So it's the type of thing that you can put on your bag or your luggage if you're traveling so that you know that it's yours so you don't mistake it for someone else's. I love that it's an owl, it's totally on brand. The next thing that I'm seeing in here is the Owl Crate exclusive pin that they have in every month's box. This one is just a little airplane flying over a palm tree and it's very travelly. I like it. Ooh, this next thing is so Oh, cute. Okay, it's this little notebook and it just has like lined paper inside, but the outside has this like little town that's all drawn in this cute cartoon style and I really, really like it. Every time they include like a little notebook or a journal or something, I get really excited because I love small notebooks. They're just like so perfect for writing down like little notes or just making lists and stuff, which I do all the time. The next thing that's in here is this mini art print and it says, I go to seek a great perhaps. I have no idea what that quote is from because it's not signed by anyone but it's like over a map of Alaska. Maybe this is from Looking for Alaska. I have no idea. I haven't read that book so I do not know but that is my best guess. <laughs> and it is finally time for the book and I just looked at it and I was correct and I'm so happy about it right now. I just want to open this so badly. Okay, I am so unbelievably excited because I love this book so much and I'm so, so happy to have it now. But the book in this month's Owl Crate box was A Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee, which is fabulous and fantastic and I loved every single word. I listened to this book on audio earlier in July and I fell in love with it. It is one of my favorite books I have read this year, probably one of my all-time favorite books. It's so good and I'm so happy Happy to have a copy now. This is also an Owlcrate exclusive cover because if you've seen the original one, I believe that the writing is in yellow and then it has like green accents and a green spine instead. So it's slightly different, but I'm really excited to have another special edition of it. But okay, I have to open this up now because I'm way too excited. Okay, before we get to the book, there's some stuff in here too. The first thing I see is a signed book plate, which I'm so, so happy to have. I'm definitely gonna put this in the book. And then there's the letter from Mackenzie Lee. And this is honestly the greatest author letter I've seen in any 
many of these boxes. She drew so many things, like, and she put so much time and effort into this. This is adorable. Oh my god, I see Percy and Monty. I'm, I'm in love. <laughs> and then the last thing in here is something that is folded up, and it looks like a map. I'm gonna cry. Yep. It's a map. It's a map of all the places that they go on their adventure, and I'm so happy about this. <laughs> it's called The Gentleman's Guide to Europe, and now I want to reread the book and look at the map every time they reference where they are. <laughs> but on to The Gentleman's Guide. If you don't know, this is a YA historical fiction novel that follows the story of this boy named Monty, and it is essentially about how Monty is in love with his best friend, Percy. Monty's bisexual, and he has had a lot of relationships in his life, but he's He's pretty much always been in love with his best friend Percy, and he doesn't really know how to tell him that. The story follows Monty and him kind of dealing with this as he and Percy and his sister all go on this road trip throughout the majority of Europe, and a lot of other things happen throughout there, like there's so much drama in this book. I will also give a trigger warning in this book for parental abuse and homophobia and racism. Those are very significant themes throughout the story, so just be aware of those before you go into reading it but it is also one of the most hysterical books I have ever read in my entire life. It is literally so funny. I don't think I've ever laughed this much in a book. But as you can tell, I adored this book, so I am very, very happy to now have a copy, and I'm so happy that Owlcrate included it in this month's box, because now that means other people are also going to have a copy, and I want more people to read this book because it's excellent. <laughs> Lastly, of course, the theme for next month is Something Wicked This Way Comes, which sounds fantastic, and it says that they're going to be including a book from Rock Paper Books. So we're gonna get two books in next month's box, which is super, super exciting. They've done that a couple of times now, and I love whenever they do that because like, you're literally getting two books instead of one book, which you'd usually get, which is always a plus. <laughs> but that is everything that was in the July Wanderlust Owl Crate box. I absolutely adored this box. Honestly, this is probably one of my favorite Owl Crate unboxings I have ever done. The only one that I would say came close to this was the circus one that they had, where they included Carval because they had night circus items, and I was like so in love with that. But this, this box, definitely up there. Definitely one of the best they've ever done, in my opinion. My favorite item, hands down, has to be the book because I love that book so much already and I already want to reread it. If you also receive Owlcrate, let me know in the comments down below what your favorite item was. And also don't forget, if you'd like to try out Owlcrate for yourself, then you can always go ahead and use my code, which is in the description box, to get 15% off of your first box. If you'd like to follow me on any of my social media, all of my links are in the description box as always. But thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye!